Well, about 18 million households in the U.S. are now home to more than 150 million exotic animals, and those numbers are growing. And here to introduce us to some of the more popular unusual pets is resident veterinarian, CBS News correspondent, Dr. Debbie Turner-Bell. Doc, how are you doing over there, okay? I'm doing great, Chris. How are you is the big <laughs> good, question. Good, good, This is just a little sugar glider. Is that what that is? He's not going to hurt you. Okay, what constitutes an exotic animal slash pet? Really, according to our laws, they're the animals that are not domesticated, that really should only exist out in the wild. In, in the animal world, World, even a gerbil or a hamster are considered okay. exotic pets, but we're going to have some that are more exotic than a gerbil and hamster okay. today, including this the so sugar glider. What, what exactly is uh, is this little guy? Sugar glider is a marsupial. They're yeah. found in Australia, New Guinea, uh, and um, they're like koala bears yeah. and kangaroos. They have the pouch. They yeah. have their young. I don't know where he went. Turn around. Uh, there he goes. <laughs> I'm going to be showing parts of my body okay. I didn't okay. really want to show okay. today. Grant, help me. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, north, north. <laughs> they have the baby, and the baby goes into the pouch. Yep. Sugar glider became popular, man, it's been a little while ago. They've been around a long time. They're probably the most popular yeah. the ones we're going to see today. And um, the cool thing about them, Take I want that. you to get away, is they have these big skin folds. Yep. And what we're demonstrating here, the reason it was hard for me to get them off the carpet is they have these hooked feet mm -hmm. and they got these skin folds and they can literally splay their, hand, their hands and feet out and can glide through the air. And if I let him jump, he could jump about 150 feet is to get to the right? next you know, place I'm just going to ask you because he keeps eyeing me up. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> now, it's important with all of these animals. Yeah. I'm really not advocating any of them if, as pets, but if you do get one, if your kids are asking for one, got to know what you're doing, yeah. got to know what they need, and you got to know if it's legal yeah, well, that's, in that's your some, area. Some laws with sugar gliders. Right, with sugar gliders, they are illegal in three states, California in, in being included in that. There are restrictions on them in a few other states, including Maine and, and uh, New Mexico. Okay. And then, for instance, they're, they're legal in every other state, yeah. including New York. But some counties in New York, they are illegal. So you really have to do your research to know whether or not they are allowed in the area that you live. All right, let's bring All out right. our next animal here. I'm going to let Grant take uh, the sugar glider. There we go. And some, this some is, people may let's know this move animal over, because move your it actually, on. Uh, Paris Hilton actually owned one of these until this, it bit her. Yes, this is a kinkajou. Mm. All right, kinkajous, they look like monkeys because they have this long, what's called prehensile tail. Yeah. And that means that they use their tail as an appendage. They can literally hang upside down from a tree and eat. This tail is so strong. Oh, he found the whole bowl, you oh, little hog, you. Right, here we go. He found, uh, they can literally hang upside down and pull themselves back up to the branch with their tail. Uh, these are nocturnal, which means they're active at night. Okay. They do make some, some noise. And you know what? Like any other wild animal, you can't always predict what they're going to do. And like with Paris Hilton, yeah. she got bitten, probably because the animal was disturbed or frightened. Because they, um, because they sleep all day, most bites happen when kids try to wake them up during the day. Yeah. And they, they don't like that. I can understand. I don't like being awakened yeah. when I'm asleep either. Well, and one thing we can report after a series of tests, uh, Paris's kinkajou is okay. <laughs> so. The kinkajou is okay, and Paris is okay, <laughs> okay. too. Let's, uh, All right, let's, you want to move on to the next animal. one? Bye, buddy. Hope you enjoyed the grapes. Yes, take the whole bowl if you want to. <laughs> There we go. What do we have All right, here? the next thing we have oh, here, you'll chinchilla. recognize this one. Oh, this wow. is a chinchilla. Look at that. Yes, chinchillas are a member of the rodent family. They're yeah. from the Andes. Absolutely, I, I want you to. Oh, wow, that is the softest is it, thing. They, they have the softest hair of wow. all mammals on the face of the earth, and they have a very unique hair follo follicle structure. Yeah. We grow one hair per follicle. They grow 50 or more okay. per follicle. So it is so dense that even a, what we call a skin parasite, like a flea, cannot live on them. Yeah. It would suffocate because yeah. it's so thick down there. They also use their hair as a defense mechanism. If a predator, and they have a lot of them, grab a hold of them, they'll yeah. usually only get hair, and they can release a whole clump of hair is to get right? away. Yeah. Yes. I want to show you one thing. This is the, this is the coolest thing. They take good care of their hair, yeah. and out in the wild, they roll in volcanic ash. Mm -hmm. And if, for pet owners that have them, you should provide dust. They take dust baths. Oh, and that. what they do, watch this. Are you going to roll around for me? There we go. They get excited about the dust. Yeah. There we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they roll around in the dust and it absorbs the moisture and the oil in their hair oh, to keep it nice and soft and dry. Look like we were battering a chinchilla there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the coolest thing? Excellent. So that's the chinchilla. Okay. Now, it takes 100 to 200 of these to make a fur coat. Isn't that oh, awful? It's terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. They're, they don't exist in the wild that anymore. That we don't condone. They're only in captivity. Do you want to stay in your flower? Yeah, we'll stand in the flower. <laughs> Give it back to Jamie. Look Thank at this. You. Yeah, let's separate the chinchilla from this guy. Yes, I'm now the chinchilla could be lunch bit. for this guy. Well, you know, you have to point them in this direction. <laughs> you know how I'm not great with exotic animals. You look at him, Chris. Seriously. What you doing?
doorway over I there. This, you know what? I prefer being in another Come bird. On, I love no, you. seriously. I love you. I'm, 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 <laughs> this is an American alligator. They yeah. exist in seriously, abundance turn in his the head wild. The other way. No, I'm not oh, kidding you. all They're, right. These things quick. Come He's on. He's not going to hurt you. <laughs> He's not going to hurt you at this size. But this okay. is what happens. People keep these as pets, and I don't understand it. Yeah, nor do because I. they're <laughs> wild reptiles, yeah. and you know they'll eat your dog for yeah. lunch if you give them a chance. But people get these when they're hatchlings. Yeah. They're only six or eight inches long, and they look really cute. Yeah. Well, within a year or two, they grow to this size, and this this guy is two feet long. They can get up to 15 feet and a thousand pounds. Yeah. And what happens is when they get too big for an owner to handle, or they start eating too much, people release them out into the wild. Oh, okay. And it's just, it's a terrible thing. And do you know most states, it's not illegal to have one of these as a That's event. ridiculous. It is ridiculous. <laughs> All right. But the American alligator. We didn't even have a rubber band on his jaw. I'm sure that people at home know that's the reason. He was looking right at me. Okay, bring on the next one. I want to be, we got four cuties coming out here. We have cutie oh, Nick and Look Heather. These. Now these are rabbits. And these are, these are rabbits. They're gigantic. Thank you, Nick. And this Thanks, is, Nick. Good job. get this, this is Katy Perry. Katy Perry. Katy Perry here, and this is Selena Gomez. Selena. <laughs> These are Flemish giant rabbits. They're just like, stay out here with me, Heather, and just put a hand on, on uh, <laughs> Heather, Selena Gomez Heather, so she doesn't leash. go away. Would you please? Okay, Katy Perry, it's okay. okay. Calm down. All right. Um, they can get up to 20 pounds, sometimes even 25 pounds. They look like they're These are 18 already. pounders, are not even adults yet. Uh, and they're just they're just gorgeous. They're big and they're huge, but they're just like any other domestic rabbit, yeah. just much larger. They have big, powerful feet. They will stomp if they get excited. But these rabbits, they're very docile. They're good with families with, with kids because they'll let you poke and prod, and they really don't get upset about it. Do you it. have to walk them? Do you put a leash on them and walk them? No, but you should give them free roaming space. <laughs> there are people who do put a leash on them and can walk yeah, them. I wouldn't recommend, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, but they do need a lot of space because of their size. All right, that's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Debbie, thank you Aren't very much. Great? We appreciate it. Rabbits, thank yeah. you very much.